forklift attachments are an extremely important safety consideration, yet they're quite often misunderstood and misused in many operations. In this short training program, we want to take a look at a unique operation and learn how they use attachments to improve productivity and safety. Keep in mind there are a wide variety of attachments that can fit onto forklifts, so each manufactured attachment must have identifying information that explains how the attachments affects the engineering and lifting capabilities of the forklift. Each attachment should have an operator manual or instruction booklet to accompany the attachment. Let's take a quick look at different types of attachments that can be used with forklifts for specific load carrying uses. There is one industry that uses a special attachment to move marble and granite stone slabs. These slabs are very heavy and are expensive. When dropped, a broken slab can be quite costly, and of course, if the slab is dropped or falls on someone, it can cause a very serious injury. By designing an attachment that would work for this industry, there were many safety and operation features to consider. Let's look at one attachment that uses a forklift, a forklift attachment and slings. This attachment is secured to the forklift to keep it from moving or falling away from the forklift. Slings are very important because the loads are quite heavy. Let's quickly review basic sling safety before we go much further in the program. Of course, the equipment operator and all personnel must be trained and certified on the equipment that is used. Above all, never stand between, near, or on unsecured bundles. Inspect your sling rigging every day. Any equipment can break, wear out, or become frayed or damaged. It's your responsibility to check it thoroughly before you use it. If something is wrong or unsafe, report it to your supervisor, who will take action to get it corrected. Metal chains should be inspected for cuts or worn links. Push the links together and check where metal rubs metal. This is where a chain is most likely to become worn. It might appear good on the outside, but could be unsafe in the hard-to-see areas. If a chain looks like it has been stretched, it's probably unsafe to use. Both of these chains were the same length, but due to overloading, the chain on the left was stretched. When in doubt, check it out. Whether you're using chains, wire rope, or nylon slings, watch out for sharp edges on the material you're lifting. Protect your chains and slings by patting the sharp edges or patting your sling. Never use the crane hoist chain or wire rope as a sling. The rope or chain that is connected to the crane or hoist is used only to lift or lower the crane hook. Use another chain or sling to help make the lift. Don't overload your equipment. Always know how much something weighs before you lift it. You must always know the capacity of the forklift, crane, or hoist. Chains and slings are identified with the safe lifting capacity. You can overload your equipment without a capacity load. The most common safety hazard is the operator trying to lift or stop a load too quickly. This is called jerking a load. Raise and lower loads slowly. Avoid quick stops. Keep your chains, hooks, and slings off the floor. Hang them on racks, posts, or hooks on the wall. Never leave chains or slings on the floor or places they can be abused. Metal chips on floors can cut slings. Keep them off the floor. Tying knots in the chain or sling greatly reduces the safe lifting capacity because it puts a tremendous stress where the knot is tied. Never tie knots in your chains or slings. Make sure your chain or wire rope isn't kinked or twisted. Kinks or twists can ruin the chain guides and your chain or wire rope. To prevent stress on your lifting chains or slings, keep in mind this important safety rule. Keep your lifting rope or chain as straight and parallel to the vertical as possible. If you must lift at an angle, don't exceed 10 degrees from the vertical. This is about the safest method of lifting anything. If you exceed the 10 degree angle, you're asking for trouble. 
If your forklift, crane, or hoist is off-center from the load, it could start swinging from side to side when it's lifted. Make sure no one is standing nearby when you lift a load, and keep the load as straight as possible. When traveling with a load, always carry the load as close to the floor as possible. If the load does start swinging, you'll be able to stop it quickly before you cause an accident. These are just common safety rules. Let's refresh your memory on some other important safety rules when using slings. Okay, we're looking at a person who is holding the lifting material while a forklift is moving. Generally, the first thing a safety professional would say is this is incorrect and a tagline should be used. Actually, there have been discussions with OSHA, safety professionals, and others who have discussed this process, and it was decided that this is the safest method of traveling with a raised load. Each company must make the decision if this is safe and proper for their operations, but in this case, it was deemed the safest method. Of course, the employee guiding the load must stay completely away from underneath the load at all times. Let's review a few tips on hook safety. Lift your load in the center of the hook as shown here. Hooks are designed to take the load only in the center. Of course, we all know that lifting on the tip of any hook is unsafe. It stretches and weakens the hook. Use a sling or other device, but don't use the tip of the hook to lift anything. When a hook is stretched more than 15% of its original size, it's unsafe to use. Take it out of service until it can be replaced. Also, make sure the latch is working properly. Oftentimes, these latches are damaged and just removed. Do not operate a sling hook without the sling latch properly secured. When unloading from a container, open the doors to the container carefully, as the load may have shifted and heavy slabs could fall out once the doors are open. Next, evaluate the container and how it was loaded. Check the bracing, how the load is secured, floor condition of the container, and make sure the bundles are standing upright and secure with no broken or damaged material that is loose or can come loose and fall. Bundles will most likely be interlocked between each other. Never operate the forklift while persons are elevated in a safety cage and the cage must be secured to the forklift to prevent slipping or falling. The goal is to make sure no one is injured or no one is put in a situation where they can be injured. After the bundle is secured to the sling, then everyone must be out of the container before moving the bundle. The forklift operator will remove the bundle slowly and as close to the floor surface as possible. During the moving of the bundle, the ground person who is steadying the bundle walks at the end of the bundle away from the forklift. At the designated location, the bundle is placed in the proper location. It's easy to see the potential injury from falling slabs or getting stuck between heavy objects. Never stand under raised bundles or slabs and use good judgment in all activities. Certainly, it's important to wear personal protective equipment that is provided by your employer. In most cases, a hard hat, eye protection, gloves, and safety shoes are recommended. Anyone operating forklifts must be trained in proper safety procedures. Inspect rigging equipment every day before you use it, and if there are any unserviceable slings or hoist equipment, they must be taken out of service or replaced. Attachments on forklifts are very useful. They are safe to use if all precautions and manufacturer's recommendations are followed. When you take shortcuts or ignore a safety rule, that's when accidents can occur. Thanks for watching, and thanks for taking the time to use forklift attachments safely.